In this video, I will show the most important tips and tricks for using one or multiple cameras in Blender. It's gonna be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Now, to look through the active camera, you just go to View, Cameras, and then Active Camera, or you can press Numpad 0. And then if you want to increase the draw distance of the camera, so that it gets a better render range, you can increase the end value in the camera settings. If you want to animate the camera, you just press N and then press I and I to keyframe the location and rotation. Then when you go to the last frame, press G to grab the camera. You can also go in to view and then lock the camera to view so that the camera follows your point of view. Let's move the camera here, go back to item and then press I and I to keyframe. And then press space to play the animation. Right now it's slow in the beginning, then it gets faster, and then slow in the end. And if you want to change the keyframe interpolation, you can press T in the timeline, and then set it to linear for example, and now the speed of the camera is constant, or you can turn it exponential, or bouncy, where it goes back and forth. But uh, most people usually use either linear or bezier for these keyframe interpolations. Now let's say you want to add some shakiness to the camera to make it look a bit more natural. By opening a new window and going into the graph editor, we can add a noise modifier. So I select the camera and then go into modifiers and then add a noise modifier. And then you can increase the strength and the scale to edit the movement of the camera. Whether you should add noise to the camera movement or not sort of depends on the animation, so add it if it feels right for your animation. And then let's delete these uh, keyframes, you just right click and clear keyframes, and then let's add an empty. And now I'm going to show you how you can rotate the camera around an object. So add the empty, then select the camera, hold in shift and select the empty. And then press control P. And then set parent to object keep transform. And then we can select the empty. And then in the rotation, you can type in hashtag frame. And then divide it by 60, for example, to make it a bit slow. And then it's going to rotate around the object forever. So uh, using an empty is a very quick way to create an infinite camera loop around an object. Next, I'm going to show you how to use multiple cameras in Blender. So let's press X to delete the empty. And then we can delete this camera. X to delete and then press Shift A. Let's add a new camera. Press G to grab. And then Shift D to duplicate. This is going to be our second camera. And then we can press numpad 0 to look through the active camera. And then lock the camera to view. Let's move it a bit backwards. And then we need to increase the end value for the camera. So that we increase the render distance. And then we can start off by animating the first camera. So let's start at the first frame. Go into item and then press I and I to keyframe the location and rotation. And then we can go to the last frame, press G to grab. And let's rotate it as well. And then press I and I to keyframe. And then to make this camera active until frame 110, you can press Ctrl B in the timeline. Next, we're going to animate the second camera as well and make that camera active from a certain frame so that we see that camera in the animation as well. And you can press Del on the numpad to take a closer look at the camera you have selected. And then let's go to the next frame and make it active from frame 111 by pressing Ctrl B. And then you can press numpad 0 to look through the camera. And then let's place it on the other side. And then press I and I to keyframe the location and rotation. Go to the last frame. Let's press G to grab the camera, 
and then press I and I to keyframe once again. And let's make both of them linear. The transition between the cameras is going to look a lot better if both of them have linear interpolation. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and check out my channel for hundreds of useful Blender tutorials.